We're hoping for a belter at BT Murrayfield. Final game of the Guinness Six Nations in round four, and Scotland will want to get off to an absolute flyer here. Ireland come through, and that ball goes to ground, legally so, but the ball presented there for Ireland. Aki arrived a little early and made Finn Russell's tackle just that little bit easier, but Scotland were offside, so advantage being played to Ireland, who just ratchet up the pressure a little bit more. Henderson, here's Sheehan. Tui Pilato did a really good job to stop him in his tracks. O'Mahony, Ireland crabbing across that five-metre line, but with advantage, Porter, Murray, Sexton, Ringrose, Gary Ringrose just held up short. What the opposition of Ireland, uh, of nine of the past ten games, have not done, and they've held them tryless in the first ten minutes. You know, that is a terrifying statistic. Nine out of the last ten games, Ireland have scored within the first ten minutes. Scotland have managed to do that, they'll take the three. Sexton, first opportunity through the boots of the afternoon, is as straightforward as they come on Ireland. Scotland playing at 100 miles an hour, they have the advantage as well. Right once more, can Scotland find the opening try in this one? Yes, they can! Yes, they can! Hugh Jones is in, and Murrayfield goes bonkers! Finn Russell out the back, the short ball on the shoulder to Hugh Jones, over he goes, 60,000 people out there, out their seats on their feet, look at this, the no-look pass by Tua Pilotu, Jones does enough, gets the outside angle, Scotland score first, or breach the whitewash first. Sensational score and reward for phase after phase of brilliant attack. Another willing Irish carrier, Ryan Baird does the clear out work. Murray, Sexton, Van der Fleer in traffic. In. Ireland have the ball again, Ryan Baird. Ireland building, really building. McHanson out wide, Hanson for the corner! Okay or not, and they came up with what we all think is the right answer. Look at that pass by Hugo Keenan. Matt Hansen has no chance of scoring that if the ball isn't on the money. Matt Hansen didn't have to break stride. He could get his hands on the ball, tuck it under the right arm, and just beeline for the corner. There for Gibson Park again. James Ryan is held up. They keep throwing the big bodies at it. Now they go out wide. James Lowe! Eventually, the pressure tells, and the Irish that have made the trip to Murrayfield are on their feet. Understanding Scottish defenders, look at them, three of them on the inside. Finn Russell's jumped out, and it's a two-on-one on the outside. Gibson Park floats one out into the corner. Loop around, Conan drops the shoulder. Good tackle from Hugh Jones. O'Mahony. Gibson Park. Hansen. Little stop, and then a little go, and Conan! Carries a couple of defenders, and Ireland have the next try. Back into the 50 meter line, and then they, they, they see the blind side. Matt Hansen, look at that. Just takes the ball, squares up the defender, and fizzes one off his left hand. Keenan on the short angle, Duan van der Merwe bites in too far. Gets, gets caught flat-footed, you just see there, held by Keenan. Hugh Jones has Hugo Keenan there, and by the time van der Merwe can get out, it's big man on big man, but Conan has the momentum. Live, moving it around. It, it's, it's finishing the first half under pressure from Van der Merwe is unbelievable, and Ireland just too good. Hugo Keenan and Ireland into the Scottish 22. This will be the final play of the game. Is it to be a bonus point try? Final play of the game. No, it's not. It's not forward, Two and that bombs. will be that. Ireland have weathered the Scottish storm that came. Sexton knew it was coming, Farrell did, and his coaching staff too. But they managed it, and they dealt with the adversity of which there was lots thrown at them. But the world's number one side will head home and face England, knowing that a win will give them a grand slam. James Ryan could have, and maybe should have, had a bonus point try. But tries from Mac Hansen in the 27th and the 56th minute, added to by one he created for Jack Conan on 62 minutes. And Ireland had three tries. Hugh Jones, an opening try for Scotland in the first half. It all adds up to a final score at Murrayfield. Scotland 7, Ireland 22.